Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. Good How evening. are you? Good evening. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Good evening. Okay, nice. Good evening. Nice fine. to have you here. Okay, very good. So we are going to continue with our class number two. Uh, so let me just open uh, the presentation and the platform that I have for you tonight. So let me go, just let me open. Um, good night, teacher. I, good night, my dear. I, I hope you haven't had any difficulty uh, with the um, entering into the session. Espero que esta vez no hayamos tenido dificultad, ¿verdad? En ingresar a la sesión. And that all the problems uh, have been solved. Okay, just wait for me for a second. Solo me permiten un segundo para poderles mostrar eh, la presentación que les traigo esta noche. Un segundito pequeño. Ok. Eh, who entered into the platform? ¿Quién ingresó ya a la plataforma? Ay. Ok. Yo, teacher. Yo pude entrar. Ok. Uh, were you able to look for the knowledge check? ¿Pudieron entrar a los knowledge check? Sí, sí de hecho okay. pude pasar dos, creo yo, teacher. Very good. Did you have all the answers in green? ¿Teníamos todas las respuestas en verde? Yes. Uh, yes. Ok, that's very important. And I will explain why. Um, tener los chequecitos en verde es muy importante, ¿verdad? Y yo les voy a explicar por qué. Uh, it's important because, uh, let me share. Okay. It's important, it, it is very important because you need to, uh, to make sure that you get all the uh, high punctuation. ¿Verdad? Es importante porque necesitamos asegurar que tenemos la puntuación alta, ¿verdad? Uh, in order that you, you don't have any difficulty, um, basically uh, by solving uh, all the exercises. Okay, so just let me continue with the topic. Okay, then vamos a continuar con el tema. Okay, the topic for today is present continuous. As I, as I said before, as I said last night. Um, eh, repetir esto en español es importante. Eh, en los knowledge check, asegurémonos que tenemos todas las respuestas con el chequecito verde para que nuestros puntajes se vayan sumando adecuadamente, ¿verdad? Eh, porque si no ocurre así, eh, Después eh, podemos tener alguna dificultad que no nos cuadre, ¿verdad? La, la, la nota que necesitamos mm. arriba del 80% para poder pasar. ¿Ok? That's why it's important. Ok, the simple present statements. I walk to school. Eh, this I explained last night. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. This is the affirmative sentences, but we also have the negatives. I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. Okay, so the, basically the affirmative sentences in the simple present tense, we have here the structure, we have the subject, we have the base form, and we have the complement. Okay, we say he works hard. Okay, we have to add an S to the base form when with the subject is he, she, it. Okay, the child swims very well. Uh, when we say the child is a singular because the child is he. Okay, so we need to add a letter S to the main verb, swims. It, it has a dog. In this case, has eh, is the right form. In este caso, has es la forma como que dijéramos is, ¿verdad? Has es un verbo eh, que, que tiene una forma especial para el presente simple, para los subjects he, she, it, como lo tiene el verbo to be, que es is, ¿verdad? He, she, it, is. El verbo have es he, she, it, has. Ok, so have is an irregular verb. It changes to has with singular objects. Okay, how do I do affirmative 
uh, sentences with verb to be. I eat, you eat, he eats, she eats, it eats. Vea que esta pronunciación es un poquito tricky, ¿verdad? It eats. We eat, you eat, they eat. And the negative, don't eat. I don't eat, you uh, don't eat, he doesn't eat. When we have he, she, or it, we use doesn't, okay? And this is the contraction because we can say does not, ¿verdad? Podemos trabajarlo de la forma completa does not, pero usamos la forma contractada doesn't, okay? Eh, she doesn't eat, it doesn't eat, we don't eat, you don't eat, they don't eat, okay? So, uh, don't, aquí tenemos la explicación, we use don't or doesn't to make a negative sentence in the simple present tense. The exceptions are the negative sentences that use be or modal verbs can or might. ¿verdad? Esas son las únicas excepciones. No utilizamos don't or doesn't cuando utilizamos el verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el negativo del verbo to be? ¿Alguien me puede decir? Vamos a ver. Isn't, ¿verdad? Is was, not. was, ah, no, ese es el pasado. El pasado, sí. Vamos Eso. a ver, el presente es eh, para am, para I, utilizo am, ¿verdad? Entonces el negativo sería am not. I am not. Yes. Y para he, she, it, utilizo. She's not. Is, ¿verdad? Is. Entonces digo isn't. Isn't. Y para los demás utilizo. Are. 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 Ok, entonces cuando estamos utilizando I'm not, isn't, or aren't, entonces no utilizamos el do or does, el do or does, ok? So, how is the, the structure? The subject plus the auxiliary plus the verb. I don't go, you don't go, we don't go, they don't go, he doesn't like, she doesn't want, it doesn't go. The affirmative, you speak English. The negative, you don't speak English. The affirmative, English. The negative, he doesn't speak English. Okay, vea que cuando estamos utilizando el auxiliar doesn't, para hacer una oración negativa, mi verbo se mantiene tal cual. Y aquí dice que no le agregamos ese, porque ya estamos utilizando does, ¿verdad? The base form of the infinitive, eh, la forma base, eh, nada más. No le ponemos tú, ¿verdad? Go, need, speak, live. No decimos he doesn't to speak. No, no, no. Decimos he doesn't speak. No lleva tú, ¿verdad? And the third person verbs lose the final S in the negative sentences. Siempre que tenemos una oración negativa o una pregunta, ¿verdad? Como ya lo vamos a ver aquí abajo. No le agregamos la S porque llevamos el auxiliar DAS. En el caso de he, she, it. Be careful. No se dice I no live in Japan. Se dice I don't live in Japan. Se dice she has a cat. ¿Verdad? Y la negativa es she doesn't have a cat. No se dice she doesn't has a cat, porque aquí ya estamos utilizando el, el auxiliar para el negativo, entonces el verbo me queda tal cual. No tengo que usar la forma con S. Contractions. Don't equals to do not. ¿Verdad? Decimos normalmente don't cuando hablamos. Cuando escribimos decimos do not. Eh, lo escribimos do not, sobre todo en formal documents, en documentos formales, ¿verdad? In formal documents, we don't use uh, contractions. En documentos formales no usamos eh, contracciones, lo, lo usamos para hablar, ¿verdad? Doesn't, does not, ¿verdad? It equals, doesn't equals to does not. I would like to know, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas acá en esta parte de la estructura de simple present negative in questions. No, teacher. No, okay, let's continue. Okay. Examples in the, of the simple present tense with negative statements. Uh, the structure is subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus the complement. For example, 
I don't work on, sat on Sundays. She doesn't eat seafood. They don't speak Spanish. Larry doesn't live in New York. And here I have another conjugation chart that show us do not equal don't, does not equal doesn't. Okay, and it's the same. You have here, I cook, you cook, he, she, it cooks, we cook, they cook. This is an affirmative sentence. But we have negative. You don't cook, uh, he does not cook, she does not cook, it does not cook, we do, do not cook, they do not cook, I do not cook. When we have a question, what we do is basically move the auxiliary do or does at the beginning of the sentence. And then I ask, do you cook? Do I cook? Does he, she, it cook? Vea que no lleva la S, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Because we are using the auxiliary does. Do we cook? Do they cook? The possible answer. Remember that this is a yes, no question. Esta es una pregunta de respuesta corta, ¿verdad? De respuesta sí o no. Y para decir sí, yo digo, do you cook? Yes, I do. Do you cook? No, I do not. Or I don't. ¿Ok? Y ya dije sí o no, ¿verdad? So that's the short answer. Ok. Here I have um, this exercise, but before... Antes que lleguemos a este ejercicio, chicos, quiero compartirles otro. Um, que nos va a aclarar un poco más el uso de la letra S. Denme un segundo. Ok. Denme un segundito para poder. Aquí está. Okay. Voy a darles esta intro para que no nos perdamos eh, cómo vamos a, a, a llenar ese ejercicio. Ok, the spelling rules. Vamos a decir que cuando, for the simple present, we have some spelling rules. Can you watch my screen? Eh, ¿Podemos ver mi pantalla? No. No? No. Not sure. No. Oops, oops. Ah, permítame. No. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok. Uh, can you watch it now? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok. I would yes. like that you... Yes, teacher. Thank you. I would like that you can have some uh, screenshots. Me gustaría que podamos hacer algunas capturas de pantalla. Eh, acerca de eh, a ver. ok, acerca de estas spelling rules vamos a ver solo déjenme responderle a alguien que está presentando dificultades para unirse a la clase ok, sorry eh, vamos a ver tenemos eh, for this present, most verbs take the S in the third person singular He, she, it. Esta es la tercera persona del singular, ¿verdad? The third person singular, he, she, it. We have a double S. For example, I miss. He misses. ¿Vea? ¿Qué hago cuando tengo que agregarle ES? Queda tal cual, ¿verdad? Solo le agrego ES. What about the verbs that end with SH? I finish. He finishes. I add ES. En todos estos casos yo solo agrego ES. For the verbs that end in ch, like I watch or watch, he watches or she watches. What about the verbs that end in X? I mix, he mixes. And the verbs that end in O, I go, he goes. We just add ES. Solo agregamos ES, ¿verdad? La forma base del verbo. Miss, misses, finish, finishes, watch, watches, mix, mixes, go, goes. But what about when the verb ends in a consonant plus Y? ¿Qué es una consonant plus Y? Study, we have the consonant D and the Y. Cry, I have the consonant R and the Y. I study. In this case, what I do is to change the Y and add I-E-S. He studies. 
I cry, he cries. Excuse me. When the verb ends in a vowel plus Y, you say, I play, I just um, add an S. In este caso, ¿verdad? Solo agrego la S, he plays. Okay, here I have more examples. As I said before, in general, just add the letter S, work, he, she, it, works, eat, he, she, it, eats, play, he, she, it, plays, swim, he, she, it, swims, write, he, she, it, writes, study. Uh, in this case, we change the Y and add I, E, S, studies, he, she, it, studies, cry, he, she, it, cries. Try, he, she, it, tries. Spy, he, she, it, spies. Fly, he, she, it, flies. And you know that the verbs ending in O, S, H, excuse me, T, H, uh, T, C, H, X, and double S, you just add E, S. He, she, it, goes. He, she, it, washes. He, she, it, watches. He, she, it, mixes. He, she, it, kisses. Okay? I would like that you can have a, a, a print screen. Me gustaría, eh, por favor, que le tomen una captura de pantalla. Yo lo voy a hacer en este momento. Okay. Just let me take the picture. I will send this. Thank you for the people who already sent it. And let me send you. Okay, there we go. And the other one that is going to be useful for you is this one. Okay. So let me send to you. Okay. Okay, basically, uh, here we have some, uh, any, some other elements, some other examples. Vamos a tener aquí algunos ejemplos. Uh, later, I will explain this deeper. Más adelante voy a explicar esto a profundidad, pero básicamente es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que tenemos en la regla. So, I'm going to stop sharing and I will go to the exercise. Vamos a ir al ejercicio. And I want you to please take a picture. Y quiero que por favor también le tomen una imagen. Okay. Okay, vamos a responder. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. If you can take a picture of that one. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Gracias por compartir. Okay, uh, so what we are going to do now is go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y vamos a trabajar respondiendo esto. Dice, fill in the blanks to complete the sentences. Use the words in the box below. So you have to uh, connect the verb with the right sentence. Vamos a conectar el verbo correcto en la oración que corresponde and then Write in the right way if we have a third person singular. Y vamos a escribirlo de la forma correcta si tuviéramos eh, a una tercera persona como sujeto, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? ¿Alguien me puede decir? Sería he, 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 he. He, she, it, ¿verdad? Excelente, excellent. Very good job. Ok, so let me um, stop sharing. And then let me open the breakout rooms and I expect that you can participate. Okay, please uh, join. Please join when you receive the invitation. The invitation is open now. La invitación está abierta ahora, ¿verdad? So you just join.
Hello, my dear. Hello, my dear Oscar. Do you have problem joining the group? Lo sacó el, el internet, Oscarito. Can you hear me? Eh, Doris, Oscar. Hello. Ok, ahorita lo... Yes, teacher. Ok, lo voy a reubicar. He tenido ¿no? bastante problemas con el internet. Okay. Eh, me dice conectar. Ok, ok, no se preocupen. Este es un solo uno. Let me join. Okay. 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 Rosanita, let me join you again. Ok, en... Let's see. Doris. Ok, let's see. Ok, let's try again. Tratemos de nuevo, chicos. Ahora, si les, da, si les sigue dando problema, eh, pueden quedarse en la sesión principal, ¿verdad? Y trabajar entre ustedes. Nada más que me van a ver que desaparezco porque voy a los grupos, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, Ajá. al completar las oraciones, eh, no le encuentro el sentido. Es, I have to read books. Leo, leo, o sea, leo libros. Leo es un... No. ¿Qué tipo de...? Hola. May I help you? ¿Puedo ayudar? Tengo una, duda, tengo una duda existencial. A ver. Cuando digo yo, en ocasiones, algo así es verdad. I eh, ¿A dónde estamos? ¿Which number? En la dos. I often. Ajá. I often read books in my free time. Eh, estos eh, son, plur son plurales, ¿verdad? Eh, yes, but eh, since you are talking about I, lo que tenemos que ver en este ejercicio es who's the subject. ¿Quién es el sujeto ahí? Yo. Yo okay. leo. Entonces, then my question is, eh, does it apply the rule? ¿Aplica la regla para eh, la tercera persona singular? Tendríamos que agregar la Entonces este. creo que no he entendido. No, no aplica la regla. Ahorita, perdón, eh, vamos a explicar, explicar el ejercicio. El ejercicio es llenar en los espacios en blanco con el verbo y si identificamos que hay una tercera persona, que es he, she o it, le vamos a aplicar la regla que acabo de explicar, de que agregamos s eh, en algunos casos eh, Cambiamos, ¿verdad? Eh, y, y agregamos IES, ¿sí? Eh, entonces, en este caso, como dice I often, entonces el verbo no le tengo que cambiar nada. Y como dice books in my free time, el verbo que más se adecua aquí es read, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. se, se queda tal cual. I often read books in my free time. A menudo leo libros en mi tiempo libre. Pero no le, no le agrego nada al verbo, porque no aplica. Porque estoy hablando del sujeto hay. ¿Verdad? Okay. Vean vea otro. Dice, eh, you like study English. Ah, el sujeto es you. Pero es una pregunta. Entonces, y me responde, yes, I do. Entonces, ¿qué auxiliar tengo que utilizar aquí para hacer la pregunta? Según lo que estuvimos viendo. Do o das. El sujeto es you, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, sería tú. Do, do, like, do you like to study English? Yes, I do. Entonces vean que es el mismo que utilizamos acá en la respuesta, lo movemos acá. Do you like to study English? Ok, veamos la number four. My father always. Ah, my father. Who is my father? ¿Es tercera persona? ¿Es he third person? Yes, ¿verdad? He es tercera persona. Mi padre lo convierto a un eh, subject pronoun, a un pronombre sujeto y eh, es he, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí sí dio always songs in the shower, canciones en la ducha. Mm, veamos el verbo. Ah, sings. Y ahí está, ¿verdad? Incluso ya tiene la S. Sings. Yes. My father always sings songs in the shower. Ahí se aplica la letra eh, S en la tercera persona en el verbo porque estamos hablando de he en presente, sí. 
No sé si eh, me di a entender. El, ejer el ejercicio es mezclado, ¿verdad? pero al final el propósito es saber encontrar cuáles eh, están aplicando la regla de la tercera persona. Que de hecho ya los verbos están escritos en la forma de tercera persona. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok, sí, en a minute. Las vemos un minutito. You're welcome. Hello, Patty. Hello, Nelson, Oscar, Jonathan. ¿Me lo sacó el internet? Did the internet take you out? Or are you co just coming to the class? Eh, el internet oh, nos teacher. ha sacado. Ok, don't worry, you can stay here. Se pueden quedar acá en el salón principal. Don't worry, no se preocupen. I know it's difficult. Okay. So, ok. Pero, teacher, adelante. Yo creo que, nos, es que nosotros terminamos el, el, el ejercicio. Y regresamos a la, ah, al salón principal. Ok, ok, ustedes ya regresaron. Porque pensamos, porque a veces. Sí, ya lo terminamos. Ok, excelente. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ok, vamos a cerrar entonces los breakout rooms. Vamos a ver. Ok, yo estuve en algunos, pero no logré llegar a todos. Ok, vamos a ver. Okay, let's wait for a, for a couple of seconds that people is going to join us. Okay, people is coming back from the practice. Okay, I think that uh, people is coming back, so let me share my screen. And let's check how was the exercise. Vamos a chequear cómo estuvo el ejercicio. Okay, the exercise was a kind of mixture, but the purpose was to know uh, if you apply or not the third person singular rule. Okay, el, el, la clave era ver si aplicaba o no la regla de tercera persona singular. So I will need nine volunteers. Vamos a necesitar nueve voluntarios. Para terminar el ejercicio, Carlos, Carlitos, how how is it number how is number two for you? How how did you solve it? ¿Cómo la resolvió? Eh, yo puse I often read books in my free times. Okay, I will write them on capitals for you, just for you to watch them. La voy a poner en mayúsculas solo para que lo vean, verdad? Pero ustedes saben que nunca escribimos mayúsculas en medio de minúsculas, solo para efecto visual. Okay, thank you, Carlos. So let me see. I have a sec. I have a second volunteer. Um, Kevin. Kevin, number two. How is number two? Uh, do you like to study English? Very yes, good. Yes, I do. Yes, excellent. It's a question. And since the subject is you, I use do, right? And I check that it's yes. a short answer, and it has the the auxiliary to. So the right auxiliary to do this question is two. Thank you. Number four. Let's see. Okay, I have already. Okay, Ceci. Ceci Estrada. How did you solve number three? Cecita? My father always sings songs in the shower. Okay, sings, right? Because we are talking about my father and my father in a subject pronoun is he, right? Very good. Okay, number five. Julie, it says, uh, let me see if I have a volunteer. Salvador, how did you solve number five? It's a question. Does Julie work on Saturdays? It's a question. So the answer is no. No, 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 she does. No, she doesn't, ¿verdad? No, she doesn't. Y le agregamos la, eh, la particle, the negative particle, but it could be also in the full form. Podríamos haberlo hecho de la forma completa, ¿verdad? No, she doesn't, como está ahí, o en la full form. She's not. Eh, no, así, no, does not. La ah. forma full, ajá. Sí. Pero el auxiliar siempre oh. es, es das. 
Ya, Julie, vean que siempre va, para responder siempre vamos a utilizar el auxiliar que tenemos en la pregunta. Does Julie work on Saturday? No, she doesn't in the, in the contracted form. Or no, she does not in the full form. Okay. okay. What about number six? Uh, do we, thank you. Do we have a volunteer for number six? Me. Okay, please go ahead, my dear. Uh, would you like, I know, uh, siete, but, uh, Yes, number six. Seis. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like to travel to Hawaii on our next holiday? Okay. Would you like to to travel to Hawaii on our next holiday? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Number seven. I la I live close to my company. Aquí quiero explicar algo. Este verbo, este esta palabra. Eh, la, eh, live eh, tiene dos pronunciaciones y lo voy a explicar ahorita antes que se me olvide. Lo pronunciamos live cuando estamos hablando del verbo vivir. Por ejemplo, I live in San Salvador, I live in Santa Ana, I live in San Miguel. Okay? Or in sentences like this, I live close to my company, del verbo vivir, ¿verdad? Vivo cerca de mi compañía. So, I can travel, Esta, ese, ese verbo es incorrecto, pero ya lo vamos a completar. Pero cuando yo hablo de um, events, like Facebook Live, ¿verdad? Cuando yo hablo de eventos en vivo, entonces se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia live. Y así decimos Larry King Live Show, el show en vivo de Larry King. O decimos Facebook Live Conference una conferencia por Facebook Live. Ahí se pronuncia live, porque en ese caso es un adjetivo que significa en vivo. Pero cuando estamos hablando de un verbo, entonces utilizamos eh, live. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? Yes. yes. Ok, excellent. So, which verb did you write there? ¿Qué verbo escribimos ahí? Walk. Eh, walk. Ok. Ok, let me see. Walk. Vean que en ese walk la L no suena, ¿verdad? Se dice walk. Ok. Number seven. How is number seven? I mean, number eight. Mr. Smith always. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Smith Smith. Drink. Drink. <laughs> Drinks. 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 God bless you. Because we are talking about a third person. Drinks. Drinks mm. tea in the afternoon. Okay. Very good. Number nine. Just let me move a little bit more. Okay. Watches. Watches. My classmate. My classmate can be he or can be she. So it's a third person. So I say watches. My classmate watches his favorite TV show after class. Okay. I'm sorry. I. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I couldn't hear. Don't. I don't have don't. time. Okay, I don't have time to talk to you. I can say do not or don't, right? To talk to you now. 11. If you see, it's a question. Does. Does. Okay, let's see, does. Does. Yes, because we are talking about your cousin. So your cousin is he, okay? Does your cousin have a job? Yes, she does. And we are using, in this case, it's a female. So we are using the same auxiliary verb done in the answer. And the last one, number 12. Have. have. I don't have. I, I don't? Have. have. I don't have a pen. Could you, could I please borrow your pen? Vea que en este verbo borrow, eh, cu es cuando yo tomo prestado o cuando yo pido prestado. I ask for. Eh, 
pero eh, cuando yo presto, ¿cuál sería? ¿Alguien lo give. conoce? Give. O eh, lend, por ejemplo, yeah. I ask the bank to lend me some money. Money, perdón. Lend. Lend. Ajá, entonces, cuando, when I take, cuando yo lo tomo, eh, es borrow. borrow. May I, could I please borrow your pen? Could I please borrow your pencil? Could I please borrow, I don't know, eh, something, right? Eh, but when I ask, eh, perdón, cuando, me, eh, cuando yo lo, lo agarro, ¿verdad? Puedo, puedo, no, en este caso es, eh, puedo tomar prestada tu pluma, pero también puedo decir, eh, I asked the bank to lend me some money, ¿verdad? Eh, le, le, le pedí al banco que me prestara algún dinero. O the bank eh, lend me some money. El banco me prestó dinero, ¿verdad? Entonces hay dos verbos para eh, hablar de prestar. Borrow, eh, cuando yo tomo prestado algo. Y lend, cuando pido prestado, eh, por ejemplo, dinero, ¿verdad? O cuando me prestan dinero. Ok, very good. So let me advance. I am going to stop sharing and I will go to the platform now. Vamos a ir a la plataforma eh, for you to see what we have been watching and working, I mean, and watch the knowledge check. Okay, vamos a regresar al knowledge check que nos había quedado pendiente. Lo vamos a ir resolviendo de esta manera para que eh, podamos estar todos en, la misma, en el mismo nivel de avance, ¿verdad? Knowledge check. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs. Um, my family and I in the suburbs. ¿Quién es el subject de my family and I in a subject pronoun? I. Mm, my family and I is we, right? Mi familia y yo se convierte en we, nosotros, ¿cierto? Live. Live. We, Cute. ¿verdad? Cute. Entonces, como es we, le aplicamos la letter S, yes or no? No. Yes. Right? Mm. No, no. Porque solo no. le aplicamos la, la regla que hemos estado estudiando de la third person singular is only for the subjects. He, she, it. Solamente aplica esta regla de agregar la letra S para los sujetos de tercera persona singular, que son he, she, it, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ¿cuál es la primera persona singular? I, ¿verdad? I. La, primera, la per, primera persona plural, we, ¿verdad? Nosotros. We. Entonces, eh, my family and I live in the suburbs. Estamos hablando de we, nosotros, mi familia y yo. My wife and I, we, we are here. Work, works, work. Or work. Work, 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 work. Again, my wife and I is we. De nuevo, ¿verdad? Mi esposa y yo es nosotros, ¿verdad? So, we to work. Walks or walk? Walk. 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 Again, walk. we, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de nosotros. Walk. Our daughter Emily works or work? Works. Work. 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 Because Work. our daughter is she and is a third person singular, ¿ok? Porque estamos hablando de ella, una tercera persona singular, ahí se aplica la, la regla. Ok. So, she sure. drive or sure. drives? Drive. 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 Drives to work. Because we are talking about she. Our son... Drive. Don or does it? Does it? Does it? Because we are talking about he, a third person. He, his bike to school. Right or right? Right. 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 He rides his bike he rides. to school. Okay, very good. Number Conversation number two. My parents lives or live in the city? Live. 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 Yeah, because we are talking about they. My mother. Like. Take or takes? Take. Take. Take or takes? Take. 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 With S, because we are talking about she. My mother takes a train to work. 
My no, father is retired, so he work now. Doesn't or doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also use or uses? Use. 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 Uses public transportation. So they don't or doesn't? Don't. They don't. don't need a car. Okay, so let me send. Vamos a enviarla. Yay! We connected with 25 points of, out of 25. Okay? That's the way it is. Okay? That's it. Very good. Okay, so let me just advance. Vamos a avanzar. And as you see, we have been working with the 1.5. Hemos estado trabajando con el 1.5. That said, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statement using irregular verbs. Eso es lo que hemos estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Ya eh, mañana vamos a, 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 a trabajar eh, con los irregular verbs. Creo que voy a hacer el esfuerzo de mandárselos ahorita, si me permiten. So, in the platform you have this video. En la plataforma tienen este video. Solo déjenme ver el tema de los verbos irregulares y si puedo. Eh, no, chicos, se los voy a mandar inmediatamente termine la clase. Eh, porque eh, no me quiero... Ok. ¿Están viendo todavía la plataforma, verdad? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, eh, yes. sí, ya quedan bien pocos minutos. Entonces, vamos a continuar y yo se los mando después. Ok. Basically, here you have a video that talks about irregular verbs and the simple present statements with irregular verbs. Eh, have is an irregular verb. Do is an irregular verb. Go is an irregular verb. So, uh, you can watch this video. Uh, I recommend you, I highly recommend you to watch this video in order that you can practice the pronunciation. Okay? Uh, and then we will go to 1.7 knowledge check that says, complete, uh, completamos las oraciones, ¿verdad? Complete the sentences and, and select the correct form of the verb. So, let's do conversation one. My parents. Have or has? Has. Have. Have, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de they, my parents. Okay. My mom and dad goes or go downtown to work? Go. 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 Yes, because we are talking about them. Okay. My parents are very busy, so I, a lot of work at home. Do or does? Do. Do, do ¿verdad? Yes. Estoy hablando de I. Okay, uh -huh. let's see. Conversation two. My brother, my brother doesn't live with us. He have or has an apartment in the city? Uh, has. 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 Uh. We are talking about he. Mm -hmm. about, about he, I mean. He to school all day. Go or go? Goes or go? goes? Goes. Goes. Okay. And he do or does his homework at uh, night? Does. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, conversation number three. I, a new friend, have or has? Have. Okay. Have. Very have. Good. Excellent. His name is Jason. We go or goes or go? Go. Go, go because we are talking about we. We go to the same school. And go. sometimes we our homework together. Do or does? Do. Do. Okay, do. So let me check the answers. Yeah, that's it. 25 of 25. Yeah, well, Yes, you can do it. Ya, ya lo pueden resolver. <laughs> Excellent. Ustedes lo, ustedes lo han hecho, ¿verdad? Yo solo lo fui llenando. <laughs> okay, very good. So, um, we are covering also the one, the 1.8 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will be able to form simple presence uh, questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about 
daily routines which illustrate how this topic is used in real life settings, okay? So in the platform, you have these um, simple present questions conversation, I get up at noon. So basically it's to answer questions like, do you get up early? You can say yes or no, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Or you can say, no, I get up late. Does, does he have a lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. So, or we can just say, no, he doesn't. Right? Do they drive to work? No, they don't. Or say, yes, they drive to work every day. Okay, vea que la diferencia de las preguntas con do o con das es que solo tiene una posible respuesta, sí o no. And mm -hmm. only if you want, solo si usted quiere, agrega más información, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, aquí dijo no y simplemente podría haberse quedado con no, I don't. Pero aquí mm -hmm. agregó más información, I get up late. But it was not necessary, no era necesaria, ¿verdad? Eh, but when we have a WH question that we are going to study later, cuando tenemos preguntas de WH que más adelante las vamos a, a trabajar, then they are asking for information. They are called information questions. De hecho se llaman eh, information questions, ¿verdad? O preguntas de, eh, para obtener más información. What time do you get up? Ahí no me pregunta, do you get up early or late or no? No, they say, what time do you get up? ¿A qué hora? So I need to give information. At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. What time do they drive to work? Every day. Okay, so let me advance. Okay, and then we have this knowledge check. Pero eso sí lo tienen que, 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 que ordenar ustedes, ¿verdad? Vean la question structure. Do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. So in the next, it, it's uh, on scramble. You have to order the words and write the sentence. En esta tenemos que ordenar la pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, viendo el ejercicio, eh, acá, perdón. Vamos a ver, one, two, no sé por qué no da para, para escribir acá. Lo vamos a trabajar aquí. Eh, Ah, ok, esta es esta. Dice, you what time lunch to eat? According to the structure, what it goes first. ¿Qué va primero de acuerdo a la estructura? What, do? what, what ¿verdad? Eh, en what? este caso va what, porque, porque tengo una WH question, pero normalmente si no tengo una WH question, entonces sí va do. Entonces, what do? What do you shine? Ajá, you, what do you, you ponemos el sujeto, what do you, ajá, pero what do you, mm. ajá, pero qué me está preguntando, what, do you what time, ¿verdad? What, what time, time. a qué hora, what ok, time. what time do you, y luego el main, eat, lunch. eat, eat lunch. lunch, ojo, Aquí quiero, quiero eh, recordarles algo de la plataforma. If we have here the question mark, si ya tenemos aquí el símbolo de pregunta, please don't write it inside there. No lo escriban adentro acá porque le va a dar error. ¿Sí? Ok. La, la dejamos así. Ok. Next one. Eh, the answer says, no, this class starts at nine o'clock. So what do you think is the question? Gas. Dos. Gas. 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 Ojo, escuchemos eso. Eh, alguien dijo de yeah. class y tiene sentido. Yo puedo hacer la pregunta de esa manera. But if we don't follow the ones that are here, it will yeah. check it wrong. Si tenemos que tener, aunque la oración tenga sentido con otras palabras, Make sure, ¿verdad? Asegurémonos que incluimos solo las que están aquí porque si no, nos va a dar error. So, does this class uh -huh, start, ¿verdad? El verbo, ok. Does this class start y luego la preposición at 8 o'clock. Vean esto. 
Eh, esta es otra, otra situación que nos da error y por eso estuve bien hacerlo. Si en lugar del apóstrofe symbol yo escribo un eh, tilde, ¿verdad? En español, eh, me va a dar error. La plataforma es bien sensible. Si yo en, lo, en este apóstrofe, en lugar de que sea el símbolo correcto de apóstrofe, le pongo el símbolo de, de acentuar en español, es seguro que me lo va a dar malo, aunque el resto de la oración, la estructura, esté correcta. ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, para que tengamos mucho cuidado, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. En the last one. I study English in the evening. That's the, the answer. Study you English do when? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? When do you study English? When, tenemos una WH question, then we have the, the auxiliary verb do, then the subject you, then the main verb study, English. and then English. Vea que acá de igual manera, si yo escribo English, con E minúscula, with small letter, con letra minúscula, it will fail. Me va a dar error, ¿verdad? Va a estar mal. Ok, en the last one. Eh, the answer is yes, we play soccer on Saturday. So what's the question? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo comenzamos una pregunta? Ahí no tenemos WH, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no hay WH, comenzamos con el auxiliar. Do you play? Do you play? Ajá. Do you play? Do you? Ajá. Do you? Pero aquí me falta. Do you and your friends? Do you and your friends? Do you and your friends play sports on weekend? Okay. Sports, vea, si me como esa F me da error. Sports on weekend. Okay. Do you play sports on weekend? Let's check. Ahí no. Vea, aquí me dio error. Yo creo que porque le falta el, el signo de interrogación. Exacto. Ahí está el símbolo arriba. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you... And your friend, vamos a ver cuál es el error, play sports on weekend. Teacher, I, I think, I think um, uh -huh. between, between do, word do and you. It's a double space. space. Yes, it's a double mm -hmm. space. Sí. Yeah. Yes. Okay. ¿Se dan cuenta? Yes, that's right. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Double spaces are also counted wrong. Los dobles espacios son contados como malos. Even, si se fijaron, estaba correcto todo. But it has a double space. So that's what you have to check, my dear participants. Okay, because of the time, we are going to stop here. I wish you the best with the platform. And I hope to see you tomorrow to continue studying this uh, section. Uh, one to conclude the section one of the part three. Remember that. The, of the, uh, I mean, basic two. Remember that this week we have a class on Friday. Tenemos class en viernes, ¿verdad? Mañana. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.